Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, today, I would like to continue from what we left off uh, in our uh, previous video. Actually, uh, the video that I have shared with you uh, uh, through my uh, YouTube channel, the uh, gantung, uh, we I somehow the recording was not uh, finished. So I would like to. I would like to uh, retrace back to repeat again uh, the example. So uh, uh, from the first video, uh, we have covered um, a present value method of uh, share valuation and uh, constant growth uh, method of share valuation. For this video, uh, we will cover two more techniques, which is uh, valuation with temporary supernormal growth, or in this uh, textbook, they call it um, they call it uh, two stage model. Okay. Um, towards the end of our previous video, uh, we have discussed this question, but uh, we did not manage did, we did not manage to finish it. So I will I will uh, restart from here again. Yeah. So uh, take a look at the ex at, at the exhibit eight point four page 261 the two stage uh, DDM DDM stand for dividend discount model using the constant growth DDM or the for the terminal value it does not matter but um, usually we call this technique is uh, valuation with temporary supernormal growth or um, two stage model okay uh, Cisco systems uh, um, had a 53 cent dividend in 2000 and the growth rate of dividend would be 20% per year for the next five years and growth later on would subside to 5% and that 5% will grow at, a, uh, uh, at uh, forever that 5% uh, after, five, after five years sixth year onward the growth will the, the, the dividend will grow at, uh, at 5% forever. Okay, so uh, if you look at the uh, if you look at the uh, the answer scheme that I, I, I have sent to you uh, through uh, I have sent to you through uh, the uh, the WhatsApp. So this is the solution for uh, this problem or this. Uh, example here uh, uh, as usual you you put uh, or you write back all the information given to you first is the uh, do do uh, is dividend that has been paid i uh, remember uh, in the in the previous video uh, the difference between do and d1 do is dividend that has been paid telah dibayar D1 is dividend that will be paid. So in this case, uh, uh, the company has paid a dividend of 53 cents and dividend is expected to grow at 60% per year for the next five years. So uh, there are two Gs here. Uh, uh, so we call it G1 and G2. Yeah? Uh, G1 and G2 here. Yeah? So G1 runs from uh, at 20% per year. G1 runs from year one to year five, and G2 uh, will start from year six onwards, forever. Year six until uh, indefinite future or until uh, um, forever. Easily said, until forever. Okay, and the required rate of return uh, for this stock is 12%. Uh, do keep in mind the purpose of uh, our purpose of uh, getting the intrinsic value of the stock is for us to decide whether we will buy the stock or not. Uh, remember in the previous video I mentioned if the intrinsic value of the stock is higher than the market price, so the stock is undervalued and it is recommended to buy. On the other hand, if the intrinsic value of the stock is lower than the market price so the 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 stock is undervalued i'm sorry under overvalued and 
you you don't uh, recommend to buy or if you have the stock you recommend the stock to be sold okay so we have here the information about the uh, the uh, the do eh, do uh, or the, uh, the uh, dividend that has been paid um, and the growth rate uh, running from uh, year one to year five at 20 percent and year six onwards at five percent okay first so the formula for uh, for uh, calculating the intrinsic value of the stock is PO is equal to D1 PVIF 12% 1 plus D2 PVIF 12% 2 plus D3 PVIF 12% 3 plus D4 PVIF 12% 4 plus D5 PVIF 12% 5 plus SP5 PVIF 12% 5 okay so at the very at, at the beginning we don't have the answer here first we need to uh, so, so let's assume that so we, we sh so this is the formula okay so we should we should find d1 the value of d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 and sp5 once you know all this uh, from uh, all these uh, uh, figures d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 and sp5 you can easily plug in the numbers or masukkan saja dalam in this uh, equation okay so look at the uh, bottom part of the uh, the the answer and yeah, the bottom part of the answer so we start with do of 53 cents and for the first five years uh, the for the first five years d will grow at a constant rate of 20 percent so you uh, you keep on growing the uh, dividend at the rate of 20 percent so for d1 53 percent multiplied by 1.2 and you get 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.630 uh, you continue and then uh, with uh, d2 0 0.630 multiplied by 1.2 d3 and so on etc up to d4 and d5 okay so uh, you you uh, grow you keep on growing the dividend at the rate of 20 percent per year for uh, for uh, five years okay the tricky part here so once you know all these things you you already solve uh, up to here d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 so uh, d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 so it's already known so what about sp5 SP5. Okay, SP5. The formula of SP5 is uh, D6 over K minus D. Okay, uh, let me explain to you how how do we know P5 is equal to D6 over K minus D? If you remember, um, uh, when we talk about um, constant growth model, the second technique, it's constant growth model. Uh, or the constant growth model technique we know that PO is D1 over K minus G okay PO is D1 over K minus G PO o actually is 0 P0 or uh, the value of nowadays PO is D1 over K minus O is 0 uh, uh, usually uh, to make it uh, to to to, uh, to keep it simple they call it O actually in fact this is 0 0 means now now okay so p1 so p0 means the price of the stock as of now sekarang ketika ini p1 is the price of the stock one year from now similarly p2 is two years from now p3 is three years from now p4 is four years from now and p5 is five years from now okay see at the at the constant growth rate when you add po is d1 P1 is D2, P2 is D3, followed by P3 is D4, P4 is D5. Okay, so P5 is D6 over K minus G. See? P5 is D6 over K minus G. So you have to calculate D6, but be careful here because since uh, from the 6 year onward, uh, the dividend growth rate is no longer 20%. Dividend growth rate now has become 5%. So you must multiply 
uh, D5, $1.3188. You multiply it with a uh, five percent instead of a uh, six uh, instead of twenty percent as uh, the previous years, because now the 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 growth rate has changed from twenty uh, percent to five percent. Okay, once you know uh, uh, this six, you can easily calculate the value of P five. Okay, uh, P five is D six. D six is one point three eight four eight. Divided by K, K is the required rate of return. Required rate of return is 12%. And G is the growth rate for that year, which is 5%. So you, you have um, a P5 of $19.78. 19.7829. Okay. Now, once you know all these things, you simply put the figure here and uh, you get uh, so now the the, the 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 problem is ready to be solved okay uh, let me show you how to uh, solve this problem uh, using a financial calculator okay uh, because as you know uh, the the uh, in the in finals or in uh, even in the in in in, in test uh, tables, PVIF tables will not be provided to you. So you uh, you have to use the financial calculator. Okay, as usual, uh, make it a habit. Once you switch on the calculator, uh, you must make sure you clear all the previous work. So, uh, so you uh, push cash flow and then you push second clear work and then second, quit. Second, clear work, second, quit. Okay. And then you have zero, zero, zero. You push CF. Okay. CF, is, you start with CF zero is equal to 0 0.0000. 0 0.0000. And then you push enter and you push the downward arrow. Okay. You push the downward arrow. C1 mm, I haven't cleared this uh, this thing yet let me clear once again second clear work second quit okay uh, let's start all over again okay uh, CF0 is 0 okay so now you push enter and CF0 is 0 and then you push the downward arrow uh, downward arrow is uh, you you put uh, you you uh, key in D1 D1 for C1 you key in D1 D1 is 0 0.6360 6360 enter push downward arrow and F frequency is 1 push enter then push downward arrow get C2 C2 you key in D2 D2 is 0 0.7632 0 0.7632 enter and then downward arrow frequency 2 is 1 so push enter and downward arrow once again at C3 you key in D3 D3 is 0 0.7632 nine one five eight and push enter push downward button again and frequency three is one push enter and push downward button again c4 you key in d4 d4 is one point zero nine nine zero enter downward arrow frequency four is one enter downward arrow again okay the C5 is a bit tricky because C5 for C5 you have to uh, you have to add uh, two figures you have to add two figures of D5 and P5 yeah? uh, you have to add uh, D5 and P5 so if you add D5 and P5 uh, D5 is uh, 
3848 and D5 is 19.7829 7829 so P5 is equal to D5 is 1.3188 3, 3, 8, 8. D5 is 1.3188 8, 7 1 0 20 21.1077 21.1077 How do you get this 21.1077? You add up D5 and P5 Why do we add up this D5 and P5? As you look at the answer D5 and P5 Actually uh, They share the same uh, The same N Which is 5 Yeah. So that's why you have to add 1.3188 plus 19.7829 you get 21.1077 if my cal if my cal uh, calculation is correct and then you push enter and then you push down f5 is and one enter and then you push npv push npv then uh, we'll ask for i i is a required rate of return so you put required required rate of return of 12 12 enter then you push the arrow button downwards and npv is 0 0.0000 you push compute so now you get the answer of 14.5036 or 14 dollars uh, 50 cents yeah 14 dollars 50 cents so 14 dollars 50 cents is the intrinsic value of this stock so we get the intrinsic value of cisco uh, using the uh, valuation with temporary supernova growth or um, uh, in this book they call it two stage model okay so we are done with uh, present value method uh, constant growth and the last one is uh, relative valuation technique okay uh, relative valuation technique there are actually there are so many uh, so many formulas for relative valuation techniques but uh, for the purpose of this class we will only focus on price earnings ratio techniques uh, they call it price earnings ratio technique the discussion of price earnings ratio technique is on page 281 of your textbook yeah page 281 of your textbooks okay uh, actually this is this is a a very simple uh, technique okay and it is uh, actually a variation of or it's just an extension of um, of a constant growth model that we have discussed uh, in our previous work in our previous video okay uh, if you remember if you remember uh, the formula for constant growth model PO formula for constant growth model PO is equal to D1 over K minus G. Yeah? PO is equal to D1 over K minus G. If we add PO over E1 is equal to D1 over E1 over K minus G. Okay? So if you add PO over E1, is equal to D1 over E1 over K minus G. Okay, D1 over E1 is also known as dividend payout ratio. So, D1 over E1 is also known as dividend payout ratio and K minus G. So, here, uh, so PO over E1, PO over E1 is equal to DPR over K minus G. So, uh, to solve for PO, to solve for PO, therefore, PO 
is equal to dpr over k minus g multiplied by e1 okay po is equal to po is equal to dpr over k minus g multiplied by e1 okay dpr is dividend payout ratio k is the required rate of return uh, and uh, e1 is the uh, expected uh, return for next year yeah so when we discuss uh, past semester questions uh, we will go into details but uh, this technique of calculating the the intrinsic value of the stock remember intrinsic value of the stock is always PO PO is the intrinsic value of the stock so uh, this technique of calculating the intrinsic value of the stock is called the relative valuation technique or it's also called uh, PE ratio technique okay until uh, see you again bye bye take care Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh